Hey guys, it's Agumas Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. And today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to talk about a topic that is really important for a lot of creators, specifically people that are game developers and also app developers that have a lot of unfinished projects. And the question is how we can actually finish projects. And a lot of us, you know, including myself, go through that process where, you know, we get into a project, we get really excited and then it's really hard to finish it. So I want to give you five different tips that are really going to help you in going through that process, making sure that, you know, you follow through these five tips because they're really going to help you in your own project. So make sure that you watch towards the end of the video because I'm going to be covering a lot of things. So the first one and foremost, and the one that I think is more important is you got to build a prototype. So we all start with, you know, with an idea and it's amazing that we have friends that talk to us about, you know, having great ideas. But ideas are just ideas and there are many people that have ideas and other ones that always say, oh yeah, Airbnb released a million dollar application and I had the same idea and why didn't I do that idea? And I hear that from a lot of people that I know in the industry that are trying to work on games is that they say, oh yeah, I, I wanted to develop an app like that or a game like that, but they never actually built a prototype. So it's really important when you're trying to build a project that you have a prototype in place don't just rely on having an idea and, and you know getting a group of people together and joining a, a team and trying to build something without having a prototype that is going to allow you to find out if the idea that you have is actually realistic if it's actually going to work because there's a lot of times when i'm working on an app or i'm working on a, on a project and somebody tells me an idea we prototype it and it actually doesn't work the way that i thought it was going to work so make sure that you do that first because it's going to be really important Number two is really important as well, and it's one that I, I always tell everybody in social media, is you gotta make sure that you're consistent. So if you go, if you're gonna work in, in your project and you're gonna be building a prototype, if you only work on that prototype for a couple of days and then you know wait a week and then come back, and it's not gonna be realistic that you're gonna be finishing that project. What's gonna happen is you're gonna go into ups and downs, you're gonna be really, really excited, and then excitement is gonna go down because all of a sudden you lost the excitement and then you look you lost track of what the project was going to be about so make sure that you're consistent make sure that you you know you're working on it every day and take breaks because i think breaks are really important but we want to make sure that we're consistent and we're following through our projects number three is also one that is really important and we want to make sure that we keep them simple so if you're working on an idea i know that you may want to build this amazing app it's a million dollar idea or it might be you know the next super meat boy that's okay. I mean, have great ideas and have big dreams. But if you want to start getting into the rhythm of finishing projects, you want to start simple. So make sure that you keep it in, you know, in ways that you can prototype it in a small amount of time. Make sure you keep it simple enough that you can actually finish it. So if you have experience with working with projects, it might be okay with making something bigger. But if you're starting out, make sure that you keep things as simple as you can, because a lot of things and a lot of famous applications and apps and in actual games they're actually started very simple and then people are starting to add more you know more details to these apps and more details to those games so make sure that you keep things simple as much as you can okay number four is also really important and you gotta set a release date if you don't set a release date what's gonna happen is you're gonna be working on that project forever you're gonna drag it you're gonna keep adding features and then you're never gonna finish that project that happened with me when i was working on a stickman world i was actually able to finish it but it took me three years to do where my other games, Cubix, was actually able to release it in a couple of months. The reason why I released it in a couple of months is because I actually set a release day. I said, okay, Dilmer, I need to find some time to work on this. I want to release it three months from today. And then by that day, I'm gonna have it released in the store. So what was happening is I was working at night, I was working in the morning, and I knew that I needed to keep the features to uh, basically to a standard that I wanted to keep them. I wasn't doing feature creeping. I was trying to make sure that I was keeping, you know, with scope. And then that allowed me to finish that game on time. Okay, and lastly and foremost, we gotta stay healthy. And that one is number five. You wanna make sure that, you know, you're not killing yourself and burning out working on these projects because at the end of the day, if we don't feel healthy, you're not gonna be able to finish your projects. You're not gonna be able to do as much as you want to do. So make sure that you eat healthy, make sure that you're exercising. If you do a sports, make sure you do that. If you have a hobby, make sure you follow that hobby through. And if your hobby is game development, but you're working on game development all the time, make sure that you do something different that is going to help you disconnect. And then at the same time, you know, going back into the project is also a good thing. So take a break or two, 
that's okay, but make sure that you keep that consistency going. So that's everything that I wanted to show you today, guys, and talk to you about. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know.